What's going on guys? This is Sehaman back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at a NECA figure. Today we're looking at the NECA The Princess Bride Dread Pirate Roberts features sword and sheath. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this is a, a, a really really great movie. Uh, the movie is entitled, the titled uh, Princess and the Bride. It's actually based off of a novel. It came out in 1987. It stars um, Fred Savage, Andre the Giant, and here, uh, Roberts, who is played by Carrie, Carrie Owls, 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 yeah, you guys might remember him from, he came on, uh, he came on Twister, he came on Bram Stoker's Dracula, he came on the first Saw movie, uh, he's a pretty good actor, so, um, anyways, this is, this movie's like a, uh, uh, romantic slash, uh, fantasy adventure, it's a really good movie, I highly recommend it, if you guys, uh, 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 want to see like a good fantasy action comedy kind of film. Um, th this one is uh, one to pick up. Uh, again, this is called The Princess and the Bride. I actually just picked this uh, uh, movie up on Blu-ray uh, a few months ago. But it's a really, really good movie. Highly recommend it. Um, but anyways, today we're looking at the actual figure of Dread Pirate Roberts. This is a figure I've been wanting for so long. Uh, but every time I, I would want to try to get this guy, it would be like... 50 60 dollars online finally I ended up finding this thing for 25 bucks and really happy uh, to pick it up so we look at the packaging clamshell packaging this figure came out in, in uh, 2005 so we got a picture of uh, Roberts there with his uh, love interest background got a nice little scenery and stuff this is again this is made by NECA on the side we got a nice picture of uh, of Roberts right there pretty cool here in the back we got a little bio I'll go ahead and read that for you. It says here, The Princess Bride, heartbroken over the death of her beloved Wesley, beautiful buttercup finally succumbs to the advances of the wicked prince Humperdinck. Yet when he's suddenly kidnapped by a motley band of deviants, what gallant hero corners to her rescue? None other than Wesley himself, masquerading as the dread pirate Roberts. Uh, again, this is a great movie, guys. I highly recommend you guys check this movie out. You know, look it up on YouTube or whatever, Wikipedia. It's a pretty good movie. Um, okay, let's take a quick break. We're going to take the figure outside of packaging and take a quick look. Stay tuned. So here we have the Dread Pirate Roberts. It's a pretty nice-looking figure. Um, this is the, old, the older NECA figure, so you, I'm going to be really careful with the way I... Uh, handle the figure. I don't want any of the joints to break because this, this figure is not really easy to come by and I don't feel like spending a good 40, 50 bucks on it. But it's a really nice figure. Uh, get a quick top, top to bottom look. The base right there, that's not the base he comes with. That's actually one of the NECA Hellraiser figures but um, I couldn't find one of my black displays. The figure does stand well on its own. It's just that when I have it on this turntable it kind of falls. But the figure is really nice. You can see he has a sword in his hand. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at the actual figure. All right, looking at some of the accessories he does come with, he does come with a, uh, a little sheath here for the sword. Now, the only problem with this is that there's nowhere to really uh, place this. You can't, you can't put this anywhere, so you can't really display it, but it's, it's pretty nice. It doesn't really have much detail or anything, but it's pretty nice. The uh, sword does fit well in his hand. You can just slide it in and out. But just be careful with this because it does look like it's a little fragile, so it might break. But the uh, the sword is pretty nice. It's got a little bit of detail in the handle. Um, it's kind of a soft plastic, so careful you don't you don't break this. But it's pretty cool, pretty nice. It's, like I said, this is kind of fragile. The, the sword itself or the blade itself, but it's it's actually a very nice little piece. And the the sword can go in the sheath, so you can display it like that if you wanted to. But how you would I mean, how you would display it with the figure, uh, you really can't. There's nowhere to display it with the figure, but you do get the sword and the sheath. Now, that's pretty much all the accessories you get. Now, looking at the actual figure himself, let me uh, adjust my camera. Looking at the face sculpt, or the head sculpt, get this to focus in a little bit. It's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice looking head sculpt. Not not too bad. Uh, doesn't really look like uh, uh, the actor Carrie, um, but kind of looks like an old man looking at it. But it's still a nice little little uh, head sculpt, I guess. Um, you can see he's got the mask on. 
uh, the bandana over the head, which is obviously black. You can make out the eyes. Can't get this to focus. So let me trace, let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit better. You guys can take a better look. There you go. So that's a uh, that's a pretty nice looking uh, uh, that's pretty nice detail, I should say. Uh, you can see he's got the little thin mustache there. He's got kind of a little smirk going on. You can see the ears there. The skin tone on this guy is pretty good. Or the flesh tone. Uh, the bottom the bottom of the bandana is a soft rubber. Uh, the same thing goes with his little uh, what we call a slash or belt. Pretty nice, like a soft material here. He's got little like strings on the shirt. So careful with that. You don't want to break these off. The uh, he's pretty much just all black, just all solid black. Um, the shirt it's has got some. It's all sculpted, but it's got really nice, uh, really nice details. I mean, they put they put a lot of wrinkles in it, so that's pretty good. You can see here the pants. Also did a, a great job on that. And the boots. The boots actually look really nice. It's got a lot of detail on it. So that looks really, really cool. You know, I mean, you know NECA's going to do a good job in, uh, in the sculpting and the detail of their figures. But it's really nice. Um, he's pretty much in like a, uh, uh, a pre-posed uh, uh, position. So you can't really... You can't really get him in any um, <clears throat> crazy poses. Uh, the, let's see here. The detail in the gloves is pretty nice. I mean, overall, it's a pretty nice figure. Uh, it's not like crazy in articulation. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say it's a must-get figure, but me being a fan of the movie, you know, I, I loved this movie as a kid. You know, I had to get this figure. Um, in the way of his articulation... The head, you know, can go up and down. It can rotate. You can kind of, you can tilt it side to side. Uh, he does have some waist articulation. Arms have like a little swivel, I guess, and they they kind of go in and out. Um, he does have uh, wrist articulation, which allows it to rotate. The other arm doesn't have anything at at the upper arm, but he's got a swivel. See this one? This one kind of has like a ball joint. This one doesn't. It just has a swivel, and the wrist can rotate as well. Nothing in the upper legs, just uh, lower leg rotation. So very, very limited in, um, in, in articulation, but a cool figure. And again, it does come with a sword or a sheath, which you can't display anywhere, and the sword. Just careful when you place this in because you don't, don't try, try not to push it too hard. Otherwise, you're going to break the little handle there because this, this seems like it's really, really fragile, but... The figure is very nice. I, I, me personally, I do like this. Again, it's not going to be for everybody, especially if you haven't seen the movie. Um, but again, I do recommend you guys check out the movie. The movie is a, a really, really great movie. All right, guys. This is uh, my review for today. Today we're taking a look at The Princess Bride. We're looking at Dread Pirate Roberts. This is a figure that was made, or that's made by NECA Real Toys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys later. Take care.